you doing? I uh, just uh, wanted to share my opinion about the shoes that I bought for around 80 euros. Um, it's a Solomon SensiFit Tracer 2. It's this shoe here, all right? So this shoe costs uh, about like around um, 80 euros and it's supposed to be waterproof, very uh, comfortable and uh, very very soft and shock absorbing so I just wanted to um, analyze all those topics I would actually concentrate on the two most important topics for me when I'm running um, it's supposed to be waterproof in the winter and it's supposed to have a very good shock absorption and uh, it's supposed to have uh, it's supposed to be soft because this is very important when you're running so those are the two m main topics for me a lot of people create all sorts of reviews and uh, uh, talk about comfort how comfortable the shoes are the traction of the sole and uh, the grip of the sole those are topics that are not very important for me. I'm very stable by nature. I don't need a good traction. I don't need a very good sole that it's... Uh, I'm born with this very good developed feeling for uh, stability on the ground. So I don't need this, you know, it's not important for me at all. Uh, what's important for me is waterproofing and uh, the softness. Um, since I'm running for quite a long time, uh, distance it has it's supposed to be soft and I'm running I'm not always running on the rubber track I'm running on uh, on um, you know concrete asphalt it's supposed to have a very good shock absorption the shock absorption and the waterproofing those are the main topics I want to talk about this shoe has this material here that is called um, Gore-Tex I never heard about this material before. Uh, I didn't know what it was, Gore-Tex. And it turned out it's uh, a very high-tech material that uh, allows breathing, but at the same time, but at the same time doesn't allow any water to get in, all right? So this is what Gore-Tex is supposed to be. Uh, unfortunately, they turned out not to be waterproof at all. Um, I tested them several times, running through the puddles, if you step into a puddle, it's not so bad, but if you start running through the puddles, forget it. No waterproofing at all, guys. Like, maybe partial waterproofing, but very bad. I'm not happy at all. Uh, most of the water just entered in. And I think the problem is this part here. Uh, I think that part here is not waterproof at all. So everything that enters goes straight inside. So running through puddles, I don't recommend you. Um, and the most, maybe really the most important part is the shock absorption. The shock absorption is very, very bad. I was really negatively surprised, guys. I was really negatively surprised. I was expecting it to have way, way better shock absorption. It is a, it is a very good hiking shoe at best. A very good hiking shoe at best but for running no way guys no way forget it so um, I would recommend it for a hiking shoe yes maybe but it's too it's too short to be a hiking shoe like for as a hiking shoe I would, I would recommend you to have a, this part to be a little higher um, but uh, a part of a good uh, hiking shoe, no way, guys. Like, and the reason for me doing that video is that I saw very positive feedback on that shoe and promoting it as a running shoe. It is not a running shoe. It doesn't have a shock absorption at all. My old shoes, uh, which, have, which are a lot cheaper than those and uh, have better shock absorption. So shock absorption is very bad waterproofing, partial waterproofing, yes, but when you, you try when you try running straight through the puddles, no way. No waterproofing. It all enters in. 
really disappointed. So Salomon, I didn't even know what this company was. It turned out it's part, it's a part of um, Amor Sports, which is a Finnish company. Uh, Salomon uh, itself is supposed to be a French company. I don't know who bought who, but apparently uh, Amor Sports bought um, uh, Salomon. So Salomon is a subsidiary of uh, Amor Sports. And because uh, I never, this is the first time I ever bought a, like a high-tech shoe and I was uh, having expectations for this price, you know, 80 euros. I was uh, expecting way, way better results. I was expecting shock absorption, uh, the grip, you know, I don't even want to talk about it. The grip was nothing special, was, was okay. Uh, comfort, if we want to talk about comfort very quickly, it's not comfortable at all. It's, uh, it's, mm, it's too tight to me for my foot. Like it's, uh, um, this part, this part here kind of uh, cuts in, like digs in into your ankle and it's not very comfortable. This doesn't bother me at all. Like it's, it's, it's not a big it's not a big issue for me um, and uh, like I said the traction of the sole is not an issue for me either I'm really stable by nature I don't need this high traction um, I very rarely sleep and um, but uh, you know the shock absorption the softness the softness and shock absorption uh, I was really disappointed and the waterproof as well. So that's for me.